human origins in Africa. Historians, scientists, anthropologists, and archaeologists around the world are now in complete and unanimous agreement that the human race of planet Earth originated in Africa. Africans were first established on Earth in around 250,000 BC. Around 50,000 BC, the Africans, who were the only human beings existing on planet Earth at the time, began moving out of Africa into Australasia, Arabia, Asia, and Europe. In 2003 AD, the oldest human remains on Earth were discovered in Hurtu, Ethiopia, which is located in East Africa. The thing that distinguishes slavery in Africa from Atlantic slavery is race. Europeans set in motion a system of slavery that was predicated on the idea that certain people were marked as enslavable. We've learned a great deal about the Middle Passage in the last 40 years or so. The volume of the trade involved the removal of about 12 and a half million people from the African continent. The Middle Passage was the middle leg of a voyage that starts in Europe. The first passage is from Europe to Africa. The Middle Passage is the journey from Africa to America. And then the third passage is the journey back from America to Europe. The Middle Passage could take anywhere from two to three months. Men and women were separated. Men typically were held in the lower belly of the ship. The roof, if you would, was quite low, probably about four feet high. So people couldn't stand. African men were shackled together and they were packed so closely together in a spoon-like position. And they would stay like that for pretty much the entire journey. Words we're saying have a, have a double meaning. So anytime you hear anything about traveling shoes or chariots or wheels, somebody's getting ready to run. And so you take a Negro spiritual. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, Coming for to carry me home. That chariot is movement. That chariot is swinging low, picking you up, putting you on that underground railroad, taking you somewhere to freedom. So when we sing those songs, it's like, mm-hmm, something's getting ready to happen. So I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Jordan, that was metaphoric for the Ohio River. A band of angels coming after me. Those coming, those, those conductors coming to help you coming forth to carry me home. So they had all kind of little messages. And the slave master would hear us singing and say, oh, don't they sound pretty happy tonight? Next day, two or three people gone because we put that message out. We talked about wade in the water, wade in the water, children, wade, 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 wade in the water. Cause God's gonna trouble the water. So we stepped in that water because the dogs can't pick up your scent. We had all these songs that said it's time to move. It's time to go by the waterway. It's time to follow the North Star. It's time to start looking. It's time to start traveling. It's time to start getting ready to cross over that Jordan into freedom. Still away to Jesus. Oh, Lord, they're going on to heaven. No. <laughs> Still away home. I ain't got long to stay here. So we steal the way to Jesus. We steal the way to freedom. But it sounds like we're just talking about a, a life in the hereafter, but we're talking about a life in the here and now. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still like life, I'll rise. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war. 
The bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. We declare our right on this earth to be a man, to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the rights of a human being in this society, on this earth, in this day, which we intend to bring into existence by any means necessary. Soul has no color, no shape, no form. You have the power to change perception, to inspire and empower, and to show people how to embrace their complications and see the flaws and the true beauty and strength that's inside all of us. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalize a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. For those who marched and for those who prayed and for those who sang and bled and for those who believed and for those who died, I stand as 10,000 to the 10th power. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Standing here. Not knowing how we'll get through this test. But holding on. Faith, you know best. Nothing can catch you by surprise. You got this figured out, and you're watching us now. And when it looks as if we can't win, wrap within your arms and step in. Everything we need you to supply You got this in control And now we know that you